fitness expert Sean T was here last weekend giving some exercise tips helpful for me as I prepare for my wedding day. Well, he definitely challenged me to take it up a notch, but he also stressed that what I eat is just as important. So here are some other tips. All right, so we got the workout part done. Yes, we did. Which I loved, but how much of this is about how well I eat? You eat extremely well. Your portions are spaced out perfectly. And I would love to talk about the foods that you eat and maybe some things that you might want to change just okay. a little bit to okay. center them for the wedding. One thing I love about your breakfast is that avocado is the perfect kind of fat. What I like to tell people is avocado is my cheese and avocado is my butter. A lot of people are afraid of fruit. This is grapefruit. I always have it as a snack in the morning, but people are afraid of it because of the sugar. Why is that? Because when you eat carbs after 12 o'clock, it's harder to burn them off. And most of the time you're a little lethargic and your metabolism maybe not be rolling as fast. So eat fruits before 12 o'clock and you will be okay. You have the time to burn it off. Before a workout, it's always important to eat. And I never have thought of this. A sweet potato I wouldn't have thought as a snack. Right, so a lot of people take pre-workout drinks or pre-workout energy things and that's totally fine but if you want to keep it natural and eat some really good food because I always think food is the perfect fuel so what you need to do make a sweet potato cut it in half or chop it up add some agave to it eat half of it before your workout it's a great pre-workout formula and then eat half of it after you work out because it's a great recovery formula and one of the main reasons you eat it after is because it's really good to help with inf inflammation so not that you're injured or whatever but whenever you work out your body kind of inflames it has a lot your muscles start to tighten up a little bit and it's really good for that and why the agave the agave because number one is good it's, it's good it's better, <laughs> it's better than like the sugar and the butter and the cinnamon mm. it's a it's just a healthier option for i you. feel like this would be a good dinner side too okay. so that's another great thing if you want to have a carb at dinner one of the other and we i know you have your carbs that you like to eat but this is also a really good carb to eat at dinner Yesterday, we heard from fitness expert Shanti. He gave me some excellent ideas on workouts and breakfast foods. Well, today, he talks about lunch, dinner, and some great snacks. Take a look. Lunchtime, I try and choose something like a turkey chili. I love the turkey chili option because it's different, it's good, it's tasty, it's spicy, and you can never get bored of it. Okay, this is where I feel like I cheat, but every day I have to have this two pieces of dark chocolate. I just have a sweet tooth. One word you said, I just don't like the word cheat. You're uh, treating yourself. Think about it, you eat healthy all day long, you work out, you know, I would say perfectly. And so if you want to have some jar chocolate, I mean, you know, just half a piece. Snap peas. This is my go-to salty snack because it's just crunchy. It satisfies the craving. Right. It's salty and it like feels good on the tongue. I know what you're talking about. It's like Ladies chips to me. I was so happy when I found out that she ate that because I eat it too. Um, it's really good. A craving for me is oftentimes with dinner pasta. Okay. I'm Italian. I just like it. So yes. I tried to switch it up. I, I, tr I do like a quinoa pasta. Is okay. that the same as quinoa? It has quinoa in it, but another sort of pasta you can eat that I like to say, one of my favorites is spaghetti squash. And you can make some spaghetti sauce, and you can take some of your leftover chili and add it, add it as a sauce, and it's really good, it's really healthy, and it's much less calories for you. First of all, I want to say you're doing everything great, but these small changes will get you to that five pound weight loss. And if there's people out there who aren't doing this at all, eat five meals a day, eat small portions, set your alarm so that you know when to eat, because that's going to kick up your metabolism. And if you work out like she does, you will definitely get the results. <laughs> and it was a lot of fun, too. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. <laughs> we did have so much fun together, and I actually took a lot of his advice uh, and tried out some new things as well. So you can head over to our Facebook page, Weekend Express HLN, and check out sort of the meal plan and some of the ideas that he had for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and some snacks. Eat five times. How can you not like that?